Hi Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio water signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you be in your next serious relationship with. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 26th of April, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 10.38 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Who will they be in your next serious relationship with? Please bear in mind that if this reading doesn't resonate with you, it could be an indication that this person is coming into your life. If some of you have already met this person, then perhaps it could resonate. Okay. Got the three of swords here and love verse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see. This person could be a Capricorn, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Ten of Swords, and One Verse. I think this person has overcome something in their life. Um, but also, I get that this is someone very, very passionate with whatever they could be doing right now to a point where it's so obsessive, right? Definitely Ten of Swords and One Verse, a survivor somebody who overcome a lot of challenges in their life and because of their drive their passion their desire they will make things happen because we've also got the high priestess here and the page of pentacles this person has a lot of faith in themselves <laughs> they believe that if you believe and if you put in all the work and if you're passionate you can make anything happen that's the mentality. That's what I'm seeing. The hybrids is going to indicate either this person has a lot of um, information, um, experiences in your life, or that they have studied like a higher, higher education. Okay, if it's not higher education, it's like they have a certain skill that is very unique. Okay. High priestess also can indicate that they could be somebody very intuitive. Page of Pentacles and then Knight of Wands. I feel like this person could be younger than you, than you are. Could also be quite see the high priestess and then the devil here. It feels like they could be a little bit too religious or a little bit too spiritual it's it's it feels like they are very focused okay very very extremely focused and they have a very um they have a routine that they do it could be them praying it could be them meditating or doing yoga it could be something like a routine that something that they believe in or that they could be a vegetarian or you know one of those things like they truly believe it and they fight for it, okay? I can definitely see this person like goes on the street and do so, like protesting for animal cruelty, cruelty or, you know, um, and gay rights, any sorts, you know, I'm not saying some of you could be gay, it doesn't matter, okay? Not gender specific, no sexual, um, how do you say, what do you say? How do you say that? doesn't matter, okay, if you're straight, okay, whatever. So we've got the Seven of Cups here, and then we've got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This person may have a lot of options. And there's something very addictive about them. People are very addicted to them, okay, to this person. People are very addicted to them, very drawn to this person. They may not be very good with their finances with the Four Pentacles and Reverse, or it could be an indication of them being somebody very generous. 
Queen of Wands in reverse, Eight of Wands. See, even when they have a lot of options, people try to you know, flirt with them. They don't normally, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, would really entertain. I don't see them really entertaining other people because the High Priest is here. It feels like a very, it's a good energy, but it's also a bit of a to themselves kind of an energy. Like, I believe this is right or I believe this is wrong. Because the high priestess, high priestess holds a scroll with a lot of secrets, right? And sitting is the guard of this temple. And you see this, it kind of looks like, to me, it doesn't matter what it is, but it looks like the peacock, the patterns of the peacock feathers. So this person they they're very attractive i would say and they attract a lot of people and a lot of people that they attract may not have their best interest a lot of people that that they attract may want to use them may not have the best intention so they are very picky yep they study high priest is gonna get studies as well like they study the people so i feel like they could be studying you so this person is not going to be when both of you get into before both of you get into a serious relationship i don't see them like want to be in a relationship with anybody right away i see them studying the person studying you and then with the page of pentacles here it feels like they are once they are ready they will offer a little bit and the page is young so a little bit okay so they will they will open up slowly because again the high priestess is a bit like i need to study this person i need to gain a lot of information about this person first are they toxic for me are they negative for me eight of wands it's like they could also be someone quite quiet someone quite mysterious I think that's also that could also be one of the reasons why they are quite appealing to people and to you. But once they get comfortable, they will start talking a bit more. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Let's see more. Somebody very independent, Nine of Pentacles here, Ten of Cups in reverse, can indicate either they came from a broken family, broken home, parents are divorced, or um, they don't live with their parents anymore, or it could also be an indication of uh, a divorce, maybe they were in, or a separation. I think this person has been in at least one very, very serious relationship for long term, okay? But they are not together anymore. Five of Cups feels like this is someone who has a disappointment in terms of their childhood, family, or their past relationships or marriage in the past. But Nine of Pentacles indicates them um, coming out of it fine. I feel like they're very independent, self-sufficient, again, very elegant. Um, they may have worked very hard for their money or it may, it may have been inherited, okay? And Eight of Cups... Also, Candy Game, maybe this is someone who lives from another town, another country, through your thoughts and well, first, not a cup somewhere. It's definitely not a selfish person, but could be obsessive about doing something that they really, really, really truly believe in, okay? Once they put their mind onto something, they will be very obsessive over it. Hmm. See, there's something very magnetic about them, again, that it's going to kind of make you feel also like super attracted to them. And it's the same thing that everybody, Seven of Cups here, would be attracted. A lot of people are going to be attracted to this person or are already attracted to this person for the qualities that you are also going to be attracted to. But see, Queen of Wands and Wands, they don't really entertain or all of these options because they are very selective with the high priestess here they are somebody whom you cannot 
like say whatever you want to to them you have to be very careful with your words that's what i'm seeing here file sorts of one first not a deceptive character definitely someone you can trust I'm hearing revenge uh, with the devil right here. So this person could be quite revengeful. If you do something wrong to them, if you step on their tail, they can be quite revengeful, okay? All right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea uh, Chelsea Vlogs. I'm going to leave it on the screen. You can click on it. It takes you straight to my second channel. Um, yeah, and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Customize it if you don't want to be disturbed too much because um, I do post very often, okay? And I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Take care. Bye.